first of all, do you, do you help in the ice bath? How do you recover from from games when you get you know beat up? Uh, the training staff does a good job of you know getting me in on Sundays and making sure I go through a recovery process, uh, get in the tubs, uh, kind of do just kind of a full tire body scan, make sure everything's okay. And, you know, I'm feeling a little bit sore today, but we kind of have a, a process throughout the week that gets me back to 100% by the end time. Your, your willingness to stand in the pocket, take shots, to move around and take shots, to get around the edge, not slide, and take shots. Some people would call that reckless, other people would say that's toughness. What do you call that? Um, it's just my style of play, I guess. Uh, you know, I think as I keep uh, going through the season, maybe you can try and take a couple less shots, but the ones where you're standing in there in the pocket, that's something you got to do for your team. And, you know, when you're running and trying to get the first down uh, on a third down basis, you know, you want to go get it for the team. But there's a couple less shots I could take here and there, especially since that's probably the main message everyone on campus had for me today uh, was slide. But, uh, you know, it's just something I want to do for my team and make sure that I can uh, make sure I give it all my God, all I've got. And whether it's sacrificing my body or not, it's, it's something I want to do. And, what is that like when you walk around campus and you've got other students saying, "Take care of yourself"? Like people are, people are. People. Well, uh, <laughs> I guess I'm just kind of trudging along. Every step is a process, so it's uh, it's uh, it's different, but it's it's kind of fun and, and a cool thing to experience. Danny, what can you say about yeah. this offensive line in front of you? Uh, kind of a, a, a patchwork kind of thing that's been going on. Yeah, again, it's a it's a we have a deep, we have a bunch of good guys, we have a good two deep O line and. You know, we're kind of a plug and play right now, just trying to get guys in, in a position so that they can uh, get some nice protection and, and run the ball effectively. And, you know, again, I think it's a it's a huge statement to show how well Coach Grimes has coached those guys and, and how prepared everyone has been uh, to be able to step up and be the next man up. Do you job. notice anything uh, when, when somebody comes in and out? or uh, Sometimes, you know, I'm so focused on the defense and the other play calling, I won't realize be able to change an offensive line unless it's the center at times until I watch the film. It's Come early, on. but what have you seen from that Florida defense so far? Uh, they're a talented group. Uh, well coached. They uh, they fly around, make a lot of plays. Uh, it's a, it's a, going to be a good task for us to go out there and try and execute a game plan against them. And uh, you know they're impressive. They're they're a good defense. They've been bullying people around a little bit, so uh, it should be a good contest for us. They're the best defense in the league uh, right now. Do you say okay, we we handled this challenge against Missouri. You get us ready for a step up in in the competition. Um, yeah, I think uh, we'll, we'll try and play to the level that uh, can help us effectively win the game. And you know, again, they're a really good defense, and we got to give them the respect they deserve and make sure we prepare uh, this well this week as we did last week. This is the first game with the new play caller uh, on the road. I mean, do, do you expect any issues there? How did it work on uh, Saturday? Um, I don't expect too many issues. It, it worked pretty well Saturday, and I think we're gonna kind of make sure we practice all the scenarios and just practice and make sure we don't get caught off guard with anything as far as communication.